It's wrong reader, it's the universe. I'm Ron Reader, and this is Ron Reader Digs the Universe, and tonight, Stealing Elections Republican Style. Before I started reading about what happened down in Florida for the 2000 presidential election, I always thought that the way to steal elections was old school, you know, tried and true stuff, uh, stuffing ballot boxes, fake voters, dead voters, bought voters. Uh, the kind of mafia and union corruption that, uh, that in Chicago that locked it in for Kennedy in 1960. And really, it's what Republicans now constantly accuse Democrats of doing. Sometimes Republicans even accuse other Republicans of voter fraud, like that crazy lady in Arizona, Carrie Lake. But that kind of election theft, voter fraud, is actually much rarer these days, simply because voting systems and technology have greatly improved over the years. It's all much more secure, and it's just much more difficult to commit voter fraud. Republicans know this, so their continual accusations of voter fraud against Democrats are disingenuous at best and downright Orwellian at worst. That's because the GOP has perfected their own style of election theft that's it's a lot less about voters and a lot more about how the elections themselves are managed. The, uh, the presidential election of 2000 down in Florida is the perfect example. Everybody talked about the Supreme Court decision, about partial versus full recounts, about pregnant chads and hanging chads about butterfly ballots, but it would never have gotten to that point at all if Governor Jeb Bush hadn't been already purging the voter rolls of black people falsely branding tens of thousands as felons and wrongly denying their access to voting booths, assuring that his brother George would have a fighting chance on election day. It was such an egregious violation of black voters' civil rights that the NAACP sued the state, which didn't even try to defend itself. Florida settled out of court for that. But, you know, so what? George Bush won, or rather successfully stole it, and neither of the Bush boys ever faced any consequences for their racist treachery. And make no mistake, Republican election theft schemes are always racist. Their voter ID laws offered to combat near non-existent voter fraud always disproportionately affects communities of color. Their racist gerrymandering is legendary and still in full swing, especially in the Deep South. It's all Jim Crow shit. Republicans know that people of color know that conservatives hate them. Getting their vote fairly is impossible, which means that the GOP must stop them from voting at all costs. So that's what they do. Their latest effort, announced just last week, is to send 100,000 vote monitors to intimidate voters and disrupt the counting process. And we can be certain that these lawyers and armed ruffians will be targeting precincts and swing states with mostly black and brown people. Almost like that episode of Roots Part 2, when they forced the freed slave to take a literacy test that he's guaranteed to fail. Sick, racist, disgusting shit. The Republicans are very good at this now. Election theft, having gotten away with it in 2000, having nearly gotten away with it in 2021, and routinely getting away with it at the state level. They are literally opposed to American democracy and treat voting and elections with contempt. 
I mean, that's, that's why you hear them spewing all this stupid, America's a republic, not a democracy, all that stupid shit these days. It is their rhetorical attempt to normalize all this election stealing, make it out to be some sort of parliamentary proceduralism that's totally legit. But it's not legit. It's rigging elections, whether or not you understand that American contemporary vernacular usage of the word democracy always means democratic republic. Fucking assholes, I swear to God, if I hear this republic not a democracy shit one more fucking time. I'm Ron Reader. And this has been Ron Reader Digs the Universe. Join me, Ron Reader, again next week for another episode of Ron Reader Digs the Universe. Make no mistake, Republican election theft schemes are always racist.